Well, hi folks, into March and I've still got a bit of veg, I think, lurking about to harvest. So I'll just do this short video, just harvesting what I've got. I know I've got some parsnips somewhere, and I've got some carrots in here, I've got some leeks, maybe some red cabbage, and maybe an odd turnip that's right. So we'll just get on and uh, pull a few up and see what, the, what state they're in at this time of year. So let's start off with the old carrots. I'm sure there's some left. What state they'll be in, I do not know. These are the sweet candle. Let's have a look. Ha! Check that out. Absolutely perfect. Wow. Right, we've got another one there. Again. Oh my god. Perfect, look. I'm going to grow all my carrots like this outside rather than in the polytunnel when I actually get the polytunnel up because you just don't have to worry about them. They, take after, they look after themselves, they get warm when it rains. And you just still get a fantastic crop into March. It's got a few little uh, siblings with it, that one. Still perfect, look at that. Got one more, I think. This one's got a few little brothers and sisters with it. So we've got some diddy ones. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh no, there's one here. Another one. Again. Perfect. Look at that. Sweet candles outside in the sandbox. And still absolutely sweet as anything smelling. So that is a real bonus. Have we got any more? We've got another little tiny one there. So that's those, that's the carrots, which is a, as you would say, an extreme bonus at this time of year. So we'll get on and have a look at the old parsnips. Now this could be a different matter. Ooh, right then folks, I did plant some parsnips in here. As you can see, the tops, I'll just move the old screen so I can see where I'm doing, what I'm doing. So there's one there, one there. That in shot, we'll try this one. Now, my experience with parsnips is they're an absolute nightmare to dig out. Screw these in compost, in sort of holes of compost, so they might come out a little bit easier. And hey presto, it has. It's alright, it's a bit stumpy, it's not got any canker. Nice and white, I know it's covered in soil. So that's that one, that'll do. It's a fox glove in it. Oh, see what this one's like. See if we get any whoppers. It's alright, again, not the biggest. Should be nice and sweet though, and no canker. Nice and white. So that's another bonus. Difficult to get out. It's a big fangy one. But again, no canker. It's a little bit forked at the bottom. But it'll do. <coughs> I've only got two left, so we'll see what they look like. Even though it's got no top. Another one. Pull the pants up. <laughs> and one final one at the back. It's a little diddy one, that one. So that's quite satisfactory, I think, for this late on in the season. Just need a bit of a wash and there'll be some nice clean white parsnips to eat. So that's another success this time of year. Right, the leeks. I think some of these might be beyond salvage, but they look they probably look worse than they actually will be. They're just digging up one up. Just for a start. Let's 
turn the screen around again. Whoops. Because as you know, it might look rough if you peel a couple of skins back. You've got a decent leak. So like I said, they all look a bit rough, but uh, if we can get a couple of dozen like that, it should be pretty good. So I'll dig a load up, see what we've got at the end. Right then, I think that's about all the right. There will be, because some of the others have gone to say and some of the others are a bit rotten, but it's about 20, so I'll give those a bit of a clean up. And show you what you've got at the end. So there we go, folks. Just a matter of stripping a few of the old rotten leaves off. And we've got a good crop of leeks, about 20 or so. Some nice size ones, they're not monstrous, but they'll be nice and sweet. So that's a real bonus at this time of year. From what looked like that, you get a crop of that at March time, so that's really good, so I'm well chuffed with that. So now, let's see if we can salvage anything from the, the lowly little red cabbage. <laughs> right then folks, I think I may need to be a bit of a miracle worker if any of this is edible. But we'll see. We'll just peel a lot of leaves off. You never know, we might get back to a clean skin, in which case it'll be all ready to eat and actually it's looking quite promising. Yeah, definitely salvage that. Just peel another one off, just rub this. There we go, one little red cabbage. There's another two down here, but I think they look a bit more rotten, but at least we've got one. Anything's a bonus at this time of year. So finally, we do have some turnips, but as you can see from the tops, they've all gone to seed now. So they will probably be a bit tough, so I don't think I'll bother eating any. Although they look alright, I've had some before when they've been like this. And they're very tough and fibrous, so that's not a big deal. So I'll just show you the, the final haul. So there we go folks, that's the final haul, not bad for a, a March crop. Been open all through winter with all this horrible stormy weather, and we're getting a few bits and pieces up at this time of year. So I'm really pleased with that. Really surprised me. Anyway, that's about it, folks. It's about to hail storm again. See you later.